into a first look of the new Barnstrecker Bremen to Oldenburg route on Trainsome World 3, the first proper sort of German route for Trainsome World 3, or first DLC route, uh, German one. But yes, we're at Bremen Station at the moment, and we're going to be taking a look at the route, doing a full line run from Bremen to Oldenburg, and just checking out what there is to see. So, let's go. Right, so this is the route introduction, which is voiced over by the iconic Matt Pedalston. Right, here we go. Welcome to Oldenburg, Oppenheim. And big thanks to Dovetail Games Saxon for actually giving us a key to show this off. Oldenburg is located between the port city of Bremen to the east and Groningen in the Groning, to the Groning, west. Groningen. Groningen. Okay. Oldenburg Hauptbahnhof originally opened in 1879, although this new Art Nouveau Art building Nouveau. was opened in 1915 after That's an interesting word, Art Nouveau. All right. There's a missing route map over there. Let's go and get Let's it. Let's fix it while you're here. Hunting route maps. Here we go. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, ooh. <gasps> it's one of the real ones again. See, I like the way they've done that because on quite a. <gasps> it's an M wagon. We've hunted an M wagon. <laughs> let's. Um... Yeah, I like the way they've done this. There are lots more tasks to discover throughout this route. Make sure to apply all the route maps, right. restock first aid points, put up posters. And collect stuff. Is that it? Your we're going, in. We're going on. Let's climb Ooh, the board. Okay. Yeah, I like the way they're using sort of real route maps now instead of just sort of the made up ones. Seat. Uh, let's sit here. So this is the M Wagon. It's like the old this school stuff. 425. Renamed from a Bore E10 in 1968. Oh, look at the glow. Love it. And it's the shiny 425 as well. It's the one you get on Hubstrecker Rhymer is sort of the really sort of matte ones. There's like no shininess to it. But yes, Bremen to Oldenburg. Barnstrecker, Bremen to Oldenburg. Uh, I think it runs for about 44 kilometres from Bremen to Oldenburg. Uh, you get four trains. So you get the M Wagon, which the we're sitting in now, which is the cap car. The first there station we go. was a converted goods shed before being replaced by a neo-gothic style station in 1879. Lovely. Which itself was replaced in 1915. That sounds nice. The track joint sounds. So you get the yeah, the M wagon with a lowercase N. Don't if, if you offend Germans if you say in a, a capital N, because that is a tram. That's not this. The Bremen to Oldenburg line yeah, 44 runs kilometers. for 44 kilometers through Lower Saxony and Can we do the windows? Freight and passenger services. No, not this one. Oh my God! Hello. Whoa. Route, <laughs> you'll learn how to operate this BR 110, the BNR DZF. 463 that's just the confusing name. <laughs> so with the trains you get the 110 M wagon. Oh, there's the Uppy Downy Bridge. The M wagon, the 155, making a reappearance from Rusilk Nord, but in the press livery. The 425, which has been completely redone from Habstrecker Rhein Ruhr. And the 110. The late 2000s, an I'm looking forward to this. The last DLC the was German. the Cross City Line, and that was great, uh, detail-wise. So I look forward to seeing this one being just as detailed, and hopefully it is to the same quality as what the Cross City was. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but... Electric containers and Cheers, Matt. <laughs> this is Trainsim World. Barnstrecker, Bremen, Oldenburg. Oldenburg. We're really getting speed on here. There we go. So that's the intro. I used to love when it did the little um, cutscene at the end, like the route maps to place, that to place, the bridge goes up and down. Did the little cutscenes at the end of the intros. All right. Well, let's um, let's head to the. In fact, we might as well do the BR110 introduction, as I've absolutely no idea how you drive it. It's not like the uh, Cross City uh, 323 where we sort of jump in, it's a British train, I know what I'm doing. This I don't know what I'm doing, so let's do it. Well, this might be at the training centre, actually. Do we really want to be at the training centre? I want to be on the new route. Hopefully it's actually on the route. Or is it at the training centre? I think we are at the training centre, but we'll do it anyway. In this training module, you'll be learning how to drive this BR110 I did sort of like when you did actually learn how to drive on the route. Between 1956 and 1969, okay. and originally there it is. E10, the BR110 is a multi-purpose locomotive used So to skip ahead if you actually want to go to the line run, we will be doing that. Okay, let's get on board. Sit in the driver's seat. 
This is good. Listen to that. That sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> let's uh, let's sit down. For this introduction, we'll be driving the train a short distance and for okay. passenger operation. I can do that. Reminds me of a this locomotive requires the reverser handle to be inserted. Diesel train I've driven on a uh, Norddeutsch bahn on Train Sim Classic, but uh, maybe it's the diesel version of this one. I can't I think it was like the two something. Set the reverser to the neutral setting while we take over this cab. Okay, let's set that to neutral. See set that. the headlights to indicate that this train is operational. Okay, fairly normal setup Unlock at the, the moment. With the brake key to allow braking to be controlled dynamic out there. Okay, we've got another key. Oh, there's dynamic brake. This locomotive has two types of brakes. You'll be using the driver's brake. So that is... On the entire formation. But you can see that one... If there, you were running the valve. light locomotive, you would use the direct brake, which okay. is quicker to apply, but only performs braking on the locomotive. Okay, it's a fairly sort of standard stuff. Open the passenger doors to allow board. And we should have the M wagon behind us, or at least it might be behind us. Is it behind? Yes, you can see we've got the um, the M wagon at the end here, so you can drive from this end. It's a cab Close car. The doors before departure. So, a bit like the Dostos, the Doppelstock wagons, the big double decker red the trains. Controls the direction of travel. Now we're ready to depart. Okay. Release the brakes and depart the station. Right. Let's. Uh... The large wheel in the center of the desk is the tap changer. Tap changer. <laughs> Scary. Set the tap changer to the New sounds as well. Need, and the tap That's good. Will gradually apply the set power. The currently selected tap is shown in the dashboard. Where's that? Where's where's the currently selected one on the dashboard? Where's the dashboard? Oh, are we going? Have we broken something? No, we haven't broken something. Okay, we're off. Well, where does it say our selected one then? I mean, you can see it on the HUD. On the dashboard. Oh, yeah, so you can see it. Yeah, you can see it there. Silly me. I was quite scared because I was thinking it might be the same sounds as the DBBR155 when you crank the wheel on there. But it's different. Good. And horn test, ready? Maybe we can't do the horn at the moment. Where's the horn on here? Horn. I will find you. Not see if maybe it doesn't have a horn. It'd be weird if it didn't, um, but maybe. I mean, it is a German train. So it's quite possible, I suppose. Before we can start braking, the tap changer needs to be set back to zero. Okay. Do not braking will cause a traction lockout. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't want that. The BR110 belongs to the Einheit Electrolocomotiven. That's a very long name. <laughs> you can sort of say electric electromotiven. Electric mode. The BR110 features scissor double arm pantographs. Quite a lot of the old trains have this, but the five and trams. Class E10 locomotives were taken out of service in the late 70s. There you have it, there's the horn. It sounds well, it's more of a whistle, really, isn't it? Yeah, more of a whistle. Sounds similar to something like the Erosa line, the G44 on there. That's got a, um, a whistle. But then this train would have sort of been built at sort of the end of the steam era. So whistles were still quite often used for diesel trains as well. As well, steam trains, whistles, didn't have horns. We're going to scrub the first stop, aren't we? Right, let's just see how, how good are the brakes at releasing. Oh, something's buzzing. I've probably broken something. Oh no, there's a dodgy braking. Dodgy braking, that will do, won't it? Oh, I didn't like that. Okay. A little bit further then. <laughs> That's really good though. Ah, there's seven meters. Right. There we go. Right. Set so doors to open. The train has safely come to a stop. You can now use the door control to open the passenger doors. Let's just see what we can press on here. I mean it might actually some of it might be locked because we are in the tutorial. But what can we do? So you've got the blind there. That sounds. Well, they sound like the sounds which are being used on every single German train. Let's get them shut. 
There's the horn, look at that there. What's that? Oh, the heart. Horn, oh, do do that? Right, let's get that off. So you've got door controls, emergency brake valve, windows. Yeah, you can open the windows. What's that up there? I don't know what that is, but we can't use that. I guess that's the yeah, that's another C for button. Let's see what we can do. You can use all of these, PZB, etc. Sand, Panzergraph, traction motor fans. Um, indicator test. So I should do that, actually. I should turn on most of them, I think. Maybe not. Might be locked because we are in the tutorial, maybe. So. Cab heater, cab heater walls. Oh, can we not contact the signaler through there? Oh, I suppose the phone's got to be a phone in here. Yeah, you can, you can do it from there. Okay. So the usual sort of functionality. Uh, oh. Oh, that didn't sound good. I don't want to break the train on the tutorial because that's not a good start. I, I might have actually broke, have I broke, broken it. I think we're all right. I hope, hope that we are. Uh, <laughs> T. I said, have I actually broken the train on the first bloody time I run it? I just heard like a really sort of like, and then it's not getting power. Although I have heard you can overload it. So maybe that's what we've done. Maybe we've overloaded the uh, train. Um, do not fear, do not fear, we will figure out how to sort that, well I suppose that would be quite handy on the tutorial, they're just saying, well if that happens, you're all good, that might be alright now actually, I mean the amps are building up, oh, maybe not, right, there, oh my god, whoa, I don't want to break it again, I think we've broken it again. <laughs> it could be really steady uh, on here. Right, let's do that again. So I suppose we have to set that back. Let's just set it to zero. Uh, where was it again? Right, do that. It just sounds like a punch in the door. So we've really sort of activated the circuit breaker then, I suppose. So it should now slowly yeah, start picking up the amps again and then we can get going. So you've got to be careful not to overload it like we've just done two times. A little bit more. I'll probably end up overloading it, overloading it again. Now we are speeding up a little. It's all part of the fun. All part of the fun. And I suppose what we'll do, we'll do a line run in this. Um, yeah, we'll do a line run in this after. And then you're probably most likely see separate videos for the M wagon, the 425 and the 155. I mean we'll see them on the route going along but we probably actually won't drive them in this video. Uh, we'll do that in separate ones. They'll have their own separate videos. I mean this is sort of probably the main new thing. I know there's a lot of hype around the M wagon but this is you know, the main, I mean this is the power. So yeah, fairly simple setup then. We probably could have done that without the tutorial. Um, but I suppose it's always worth doing. And you guys can see as well. Right. Is that going to be alright? Please count. Yes, it counted. Unlock the doors. Okay, we'll get them unlocked. And that should then be the end of the tutorial. Yeah. Good there work. we go. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. Easy. Completely aced it there. And we got a uh, trophy as well. Professor. Love it. Uh, right. Let's see what we have to do. I mean, no, let's see what's included with the route. So, 44 kilometres of track between Bremen and Oldenburg. But what can you actually do? Uh, so, there's 272 services. I have, I should have all of the layers on. Um, so you should be able to see every single one there is. So pretend you've literally just got train tomorrow free. 
this is the first thing you've got you'll probably just have this so you'll have the 110 services you can see a fair few there as we go through uh, the 425 you can see on there you've got a fair few services as well um, and the no you won't be getting that you'll then also be getting the M wagon which you can see again similar selection to the 110 but then it's just backwards and forth on the route um, and then for the other train you'll be getting on here the 155 which is the press livery not the DB livery uh, you can see wait it's got quite probably actually more freight services and passenger services and I suppose it is North Germany quite industrial etc uh, so you can see all of them there right and then you've got all the other little bits and bobs you can mess about with but they are extra layers and substitutes so let's just get in the 110 uh, and let's do a service let's see let's start at Bremen um, 913 drive this passenger service from Bremen to Oldenburg what's the difference that one's 30 that one's 43 minutes um, well, I suppose we could go in the m and on this one now let's do, let's do the all stop him, or, or should we do that one? I'm thinking, see, I'm not streaming this. I don't know. You guys can't comment in chat what you want to see. Uh, let's, yeah, let's do, yeah, let's. Hmm, 43 or 30. I suppose that's going to be an all stop. So we sort of get to see each and every station. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. We'll do that one there. Uh, we'll set it set it summer because that's probably the best time to actually show a route off in summer. Otherwise, it's going to be all grey and, well, wintry. Which we don't particularly want on a first look. We don't want the weather looking like that <laughs> in the picture there. But in we go. I'm looking forward to this. As I didn't really watch much of the preview stream. So it is sort of all new to me as well. Right, drive this passenger service from Bremen to Oldenburg. Okay, so we're in the 110. Uh, six coaches. 274 tons okay this looks uh, good let's get the doors open well let's get that in first set that to neutral doors unlocked you've got a freight train there uh, you've got the brake key uh, finding the safety systems that will be the the fun thing let's set that to oh I don't know uh, normal is that going to be on headlights? Okay, that is some headlights. Wow, look at that. It's a weird looking loco, isn't it? But it is cool, so that's what matters. But yeah, this is Bremen Station, so quite a sort of what the main shed. In fact, let's uh, go in the free cam. Okay, oh you, can, oh, you can actually see people out there. I like that. Obviously, probably the 2D people. Yeah, it looks like the 2D. Well, actually, it actually looks a bit, little bit weird, but... It, you can see people out there. You wouldn't, you wouldn't see them from, from the tracks, would you? But yeah, Bremen Station. It's a quite a masterpiece. Massively high train shed, actually. Fairly similar to... Reminds me of... I was going to say Cologne, but then also St Pancras. I don't know, but it's a cool train shed. And, you know, so you've got this little sort of extension bit over here as well. Uh, you can see all the boards working on there. The Regional Express 4 to Hamburg. So that would be that would be a layer there, um, or a substitution, if you want to see them. Yeah, so you got a uh, see all of them on there. Another train coming. Oh, it's a nice one there. So you need Castle Versberg for that. Right, how do we turn on safety systems? It would be nice to have them on, even though it's probably not a good idea to have them on. It will be fun. Right, let's search for the safety systems. Probably back here somewhere, aren't they? Uh, brake mode. Oh, there's Cifa. That's that one. Um, don't think we need that. I uh, don't need that. PZ. Oh, there we go. PZB. LZB. The thing is LZB. Okay. Right. Release the brakes. Get the doors shut. So we are going to be stopping at Bremen, Neustadt, Kaidlug, Adelmanhorst, Camp. Uh, Schiebrook, uh, Buchholzberg, Hude, Wusting, and Oldenburg. And I really apologise for those pronunciations. Right. 
Uh, let's get the. In fact, let me get them off because I don't really. I don't really like having them on. Uh, Hudden gameplay. Stock market. You're going off. Um, yeah, it should then be. Oh, on that one as well. Right there. Now the stock market's like the coloured blocks on the floor. Don't like them. You can see the speedo as well. I might turn. I'm, I'll put the webcam up actually a little bit more. Um, so it's a bit easier to. Uh, to oh, not the whole bloody screen. Let's move that up just a tad. Do my little test to see if you. Oh no, it is still there. Oh, bring it down a bit. No, it's above now. Right, little test. Is it? Is it there? No, I think we're all good. Right, let's concentrate. So you can see that now. Off we go. So don't overload it. And if you do overload it, just um, set the circuit breaker again. So set it to closed. I don't really know what I said. It said seven in the tutorial, didn't it? So we'll keep it in seven. No, that sounds like it's doing something. We've got 50 on there. There's no AFB on here. There you go. We acknowledge that. As you can see, also the PZB on there. As we, I suppose we haven't really seen that the new PZB helper. Um, well, because there hasn't really been any new German routes so but there you can see the uh, the PZB helper well no new German routes we really had to use PZB uh, you get to see the helper now what is that there some sort of oh some sort of load a cattle loading or something there there we go though awesome Okay, see if it doesn't sound too bad. Oh, we're really, where are we going? I thought we were going to go along sort of that main line there, but now we're sort of, we're going off. Is it, is, okay, yeah, we are sort of going off here. Sort of away from the, uh, from the busyness. Alright, I'm going to do that. And we are sort of, I suppose this is probably near enough what you're going to see on the day, but uh, this is on PS5, and I'm playing one day before it comes out so I doubt there will be an update beforehand FPS is a little bit I mean I would expect slightly better FPS around here um, but then we do have all of the layers on so uh, which is also why not all of the layers are going to be on last gen either Sort of, I suppose a good example. But yeah, 20. I mean, 25 FPS. But it's not brilliant, considering we are on the PS5. But then it might only be in this one area here, so that's fine. But yeah, I'll go through what layers you get. I might actually have to put that up on the article, actually. Uh, in fact, yeah, I'll do that. Otherwise I might be saying the wrong things, which wouldn't be any good. Uh, so let's have a look uh, at what you get for each thing, Majiggy, and also pay attention on the route as well. I'm probably being a bit careful, aren't I? But we're due there now. Come on, speed up. <laughs> don't, I don't want to overload it. It's scary. Um, right, so... In fact, what I'll do, we'll get to the station first, then I'll go through that. Otherwise, I'll be bound to uh, something that will go wrong. Right, how far can we get about overloading? So you've, sort of, you've got to fill the engine, fill the locomotive. Because okay, so the 15's fine. The brakes weren't brilliant. I wouldn't say this is probably a locomotive for beginners. If you are starting your train sim world free German journey, it's probably not the best one to start with. Because it is one of the sort of older locomotives, so brakes aren't great. You've got the tap changer here. Um, although, you do get the 425 on this route, which is probably perfect for, for starting with. Oh, wow, look at this. That's quite cool. You've got the uh, new boat model there. It looks new. 
Look at that. Like, that's quite cool. And we're coming into Bremen and Neustadt. Actually, go across that bridge there. That's cool. All the mast up. This bit feels really weird through here. It feels like um, a bit like on Main Space Art Barn when you sort of come out of Aschaffenburg uh, and you're on that sort of the bit with no services down to the docks. It feels like we're sort of sidelined from the main. I know it's it's got that little quaint, quiet feeling to it. Okay, the brakes not too bad. They're going to take a lot of work getting used to on here, but. I think they're actually lapped, actually. Are they lapped brakes? No, no, not lapped. They almost felt lapped. No, don't come to a... Uh, that's fine, actually. So, yeah, you know what? Come, yeah, stop there. Probably in the platform, aren't we? Yeah, we're in the platform. There's no stop marker, anyway. So, there's the M-Wagon at the back. Um, so yes, let's see what we actually, uh, what you, what you get, so, um, yes, let's see, so, this includes, I'm just having a little look, right, hang on, let me quickly get the door shut, so, if you've got Dresden to Chemnitz, you'll get the DBBR612 services, so put that into seven, I'm trusting you, Matt, I'm putting it in seven, um, yeah, so you'll get the DBBR612 services if you've got uh, Dresden and Chemnitz. Uh, for Navico Dresden, you get the 185 with the Zanks and Founds wagons, so that will then probably add more services in. The DBBR101 and uh, MRC BR 182 from Hubstrecker and Hamburg Lubeck. Um, so the 101, you'll get more services. Hamburg Lubeck, you'll see, get more services. The Despolok 182, uh, you'll get more services. The 363 from Navico Dresden, you'll get more services. And the Ice One, you'll then end up getting. Oh no, you can actually see what one you're in on there, I think. Ah, oh, okay, that's all right. Um, and then, yeah, if you are on a last gen console, uh, you will not be getting more static stock at Bremen, playable and AI Ice services. AI BR 146 Dosto services at Bremen. AI363 services at Bremen and playable 363 museum runs. So if you're on last gen, you don't get that. Although if you're on next gen and PC, you do get that. So there we go. Right, let's get out of here. Let's try and get a little bit of speed up to 50. I, just, I, I don't want to overload it. I mean, where do you actually see the bar on the... For sort of the, uh, the Where's the Killer Newtons bar? No, it's there, okay. So pretty much don't go into the red. Otherwise the train will get angry. Seven kilometers to Haidkluk. Hang on, would you there now? That's quite a tight timetable, isn't it? Do there now? I don't know how late we were into uh, Bremen Eustat. Two minutes late. Okay, so you really you gotta really be on the ball on here. Yeah, you really gotta be on the ball. Alright, well we'll we'll get going then. Yeah, so you've got to be on the ball. Let's just get that right up then. I don't want to overload it, but... If it really, if we really do need to go, we will go. Right, top one's 28. There we go. That's, that's, that's quick. That's really going for it now. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're going up to 140, I guess that is. Yeah, it's 140. Bit of Sifa. Oh, away we go. Yeah, very happy to be playing on the PlayStation 5 again for the first look. Um, that's it, that's it. I don't. I, I like keeping it consistent. And now it seems like uh, DLC early access now actually works for console. Even if it's just the night before, it means getting stuff done. I mean, it's not having to go on the PC and fiddle about and play it on there, and then it might lag a little bit. We just show it. From the PlayStation 5 perspective, which is which is great. So big thanks again to Dovetail for giving us a key to show it off. And there has been one thing about this route which a lot of people have been talking about again, and that is the 29.99 price tag in pounds, so pretty much 30 pounds. 
which, yeah, I don't know. It's it's, it's not as long as well, I don't think it's near enough the same size as Cross C. I don't know. What do you think? Do you agree with the? Do you think it's reasonable the twenty nine ninety nine price tag, or do you think it should be a little bit lower? It's a tough one to answer really because we haven't really discovered much of the route yet. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Because I know that was sort of one of the sort of like things people were going on about saying, oh, it's actually a bit much. Sort of a shortish route. But yeah, what do you think? But yeah, there you go, Sifa. start putting that on. The brakes seem okay. I mean, they're certainly not the best brakes, but they're okay. If it was raining, it would be quite low visibility, wouldn't it? As the wipers sort of a bit more over to the side. Right, coming up to the uh, station. Let's try and enter at 50 kilometres an hour. If that happens, I don't know. Go a little bit quick still. Come on, train. I don't want to screw things up already. Let's try and make it a good, a good, good experience for everyone. That does come down quite quick though. Once that pressure is on, just trying to get that sort of a gen to this stop. I've held the pressure there, that's good. Alright, there we go, that's, oh, this is, I mean, you know, first, first proper stop, that is. It's not too bad. You know, that's not bad. And I think you also get six scenarios on this route. Let me check the scenarios. And probably the usual sort of journey chapters. How do we get the MWAG and coach lights on? That's like they're off at the moment. Probably away. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's a 612 there. That come is that actually stopping? I think it is, I think. Cool. So that's one of the extra services. So if you own Dresden Chemnitz, you'll uh, see that. And I sort of the rattle as we get going. It sounds like it's going to fall apart. Delman horse next. Like it. Right, I'm just slowly pumping it up slowly. So 10, 11, 12. I don't want to overload it and bloody um, blow up the circuit breaker. Oh, what's the correct terminology for it? Cut the circuit breaker. So, oh, that went up quite. I'm just looking at that little blue bar, the Killer Newtons one. So you have got to be fairly careful, but then you've also got to be quite rough because the timetable does seem a little bit tight. So you can't sort of just hang around. You, you've got to go. Now this is the route map for any route mappers. You can see Bremen is now over there, and we're over there. So it's quite a. Uh, well, this bit's quite a straight sort of bit coming out of it. And we go up to there, and Oldenburg. Oh, what's this bit of track down here? It's sort of left out. Cool. But I think the German community has been very happy with this route um, because it does include the uh, the M wagon, which I suppose is like the old, the old, the old old Dosto sort of thing. Yeah, it's got the cab car and the coaches. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll check that out on a separate video. We'll do that um, on the next video. We'll check out the M wagon. Um, so yeah, I mean, probably when this is going out, we'll be streaming at the same time. So there's plenty to. Plenty to watch and indulge. Right, that didn't take long to get to that station. I was coming up to it already. 
Let's uh, get them on. Whoa, C30S. Yes. I'm, I, my braking on this train is never going to be great. I can already tell. Well, I'll just keep it in minimum for now. See how that gets on. It's coming down a little bit. Okay, so let's maybe just try and stick it to minimum. That seems to hold it at one single place, so that might be quite ideal. Minimum again. Love the sounds that you can hear in the background as you're uh, doing all this the little sort of flicks and switches back yeah, behind us. You can sort of feel that connection with the locomotive. Okay, that, that minimum brake is good to use. I'm liking that. And yeah, this route is set in the late noughties, so probably anywhere between 2007 and 2009. So near enough modern day, I won't consider that a, a sort of an old sort of route. It's pretty much modern day. Uh, let's get the doors open. I doubt much has changed on this route since 2007 slash nine. So yeah, near enough modern day. So yeah, what is the diesel version of this uh, train then? That always seems to have like a diesel counterpart. Be that the two something. Alright, Hoi Hoiken Camp next. Alright, let's hit that two seven. If Matt put it in seven, I'll do it in seven. Look at the whole capital there you can open up. One seems to be very, very quiet. But maybe the, there might be an issue with the horn at the moment. Because I'm doing it, but it's not doing anything. So that could be an issue. But early days. I mean, this is it's not even out yet, so... Slowly start whacking that up. Oh, oh, oh no. Uh-oh. I thought I'd just test the waters, and uh, yes, I think we have, uh, we've broken it, <coughs> there you go, whack it back in. Come on train, sorry, I won't do it again, alright, I won't test your waters. <laughs> I'll just put it straight sort of into 1617. So it's having a think, it's like, ooh, should we actually get going? This is a, a tricky train to drive, especially when, when you're in the MWAG and driving at the other end. I don't think you can actually really see what tap you're in. So, you're probably going to get quite a few instances on there where this happens, but you won't really be able to see it happening because you don't know what tap you're in. Let's try and do it from there. Okay, it works from there, but doing it on the controller. Well, I did do it there, but sometimes it cuts out. Well, maybe that's just one of those things about this train. Sometimes the horn just wouldn't really come on. <laughs> maybe it has to fill up. Uh, maybe it has to fill up with air. Maybe. Maybe. We've got 160 coming out. That's nice. Let's get that all right up now. Don't, oh, I don't overcharge, don't overcharge. Okay, all good, all good. We are away. That's the 160, so fairly quick on this route. It's not slow by any means. And probably the easiest train to drive on here is the 425. Not a lot can go wrong in that. Here comes uh, another. Oh, that's the M wagon there. Let's give him a little, uh, little toot. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes. 
is that. Let's get the uh, brakes on. I don't know if what runs on the front can alternate on this route. Oh, I guess it probably is always the 110 and the M wagon together. I doubt you could see a 146 on the front and the M wagon on the back because I don't think that would I don't think that would work. Would that even, would that actually work? Probably not. Because the M wagon uses probably a completely different system. So that'd be bonkers. Right, here we are at Huaycan Camp. Sounds like some sort of university. Huaycan Campus. If it is. I'm not a fan of these brakes though. They're shoddy. They just mean hard like most to drive. Right, here we are. Is that the sound of the level crossing? No, these are the new ones, I think. These uh, level crossings. We haven't actually seen these ones in the game before, I don't think. Or at least working. And the cars do drive over the level crossings now. Okay. Sheerbrook next. Alright, start off in seven. In fact, let's um, watch them going up. I know Matt was quite sort of proud of them, so let's make Matt proud by showing them. Yeah, it's not doing the whistle now. Come on, train. Get going. Look at that, lovely. We will figure out one day how to get the train lights on. There probably is a button for it. But for now, passengers, you're in the dark. Don't think there is any tunnels on here, so that's alright. They can put up with it. Now, I bet there'll be another train coming the other way. Lovely. It's really nice. Well, hang on, that's not nice. Ah, Cifa's gone off. We can hear that. Cifa is supposed to sound when... Um, yeah, it's a bit naughty because Cifa should be sounding. So that there is an issue. It's not a train sim classic where it doesn't make the sound. Uh, sorry everyone in the bloody car. This is bloody driver, isn't he? Crazy. What's he like? Right, hopefully it, it does start going now. Come on, I want to see the m out of the way. I want to see the level crossing go up. You're not the star of the show now. The level crossing it. Look at the traffic. God, it's like my local station. Traffic's always like this when the crossing's uh, bloody down. Now there'll be another train coming the other way now. Cool, isn't it? Alright, let's just keep that on so I can see when it does the uh, thingy. It was a nice idea, but... Seems you can't hear the sea on the outside. Oh, there probably is another train, isn't there? Things. If I look at the map, they then go up. Go on, go up. Every time I do this, they then take forever to go up. So please don't take forever to go up. Just, just go up. I bet there's another train, isn't there? Well, no, there isn't. Well they, would, well, they will eventually go up. But in today's one, we might not see that. Well, let's get back in. Yeah, they do go up. Eventually. Anyway, so let's get going. About five minutes late. No, that's fine, we're showing off the route. It's our first time. We're never early on our first time. Little pond over there. Quality-wise, um, well, detail-wise, I should say, I don't see anything to suggest it's lower than the Cross City. Um, but yeah, that seems alright. 
These edges seem a bit, I don't know, but, I don't know. Let's put that down. Sort of right next to the track, it seems a bit sort of barren. Well, I'll show you what I mean in a second. But it's probably just me thinking it is. No, that one with the level crossing right in the middle. Oh, there's like a mini one for pedestrians as well there. That's cool. Yeah, beep beep. This is nice. That looks a bit barren in the distance there. So I'll see that quite visibly as well. Right, here we are. There's no stop marker, so just stop where you want. Stop where you drop. Let's get the doors open. Yeah, there's like a little mini uh, mini one here. Like, like the little cowbell sound. Lovely. Oh yeah, I was just saying, yeah. So I oh, know, right next to the tracks, so this bit sort of here it seems a bit sort of, hmm, unless you can see. I don't know, it's probably just me thinking that. Let's get the doors uh, shut. Uh, next it is book. Uh, there you go, it's book next. That's how uh, we're just going to call it book. Book next. Let's go. That should be a good opportunity to get try and get a nice uh, screenshot sort of the uh, train lined up like that. Right, start in seven and slowly get it out. Obviously, don't want to overdo it. Yeah, nice little whistle though. Can't complain. Can't complain. So we got a book, and we got Hude, and then Wusting, and then Oldenburg at 57 past. Although we ain't gonna get there at 57 past. So we got a bit of a way yet. Uh, here comes a. I want to say it's a 4 It's a 4 There goes that. I don't know if we can see the Hubstrecker Rhine River version. I guess we probably can't. I do have it installed though. So there's a fair amount of traffic on the route. I mean, we've seen quite a bit going past, haven't we, already? 612, 425, another M wagon. So there's plenty of traffic to, uh, to see. I want to say there's a lack of services. I mean, there's 272 playable services. I think there's over 1,400 AI services. I mean, it's a Joe Burgess timetable. So you can't complain. If you complain, Joe will find you and eat your biscuits. Maybe. Me too. So we are making our way uphill at the moment. We're going past these little, it's quite a quaint route, isn't it? The little curtains as well. I don't know they can use them though. Yeah, sort of, sort of little small villages and towns. I was looking on, if you look on Google Maps, there isn't really much around here. I mean, Bremen's the biggest place, and Oldenburg, I suppose, is the next biggest place. So there's not really much going on. Quite quaint and nice. That's a little bit like a losing to Cersei, just tiny little villages that serve on there. Let's get the tap changer down. Oh, well, we got a double yellow. Nasty. Probably because there's a junction of something coming up, because our bloody. I mean, we're already running late. So we nothing to do with that. I can only tell that's going to catch out a lot of people on the fast train. How much you know it's actually uh, has a little bar there to say what speed you should be going at. That's quite cool. That bar sort of fades out. Cool. So PZB is much easier to use now. Much easier to use if you've got the little helper on. And it really does transform. German routes. Like you 
Should try and... Oh, there's a 101. Should try and use um, PZB. It's good fun. Oh, that's why that. It really is nasty. What's that all about, eh? Well, we've got to stop there, and the train won't be in the platform, would it? There we go, now we're in the platform. You probably could probably go right up to the to the signal, but it told us to stop there. It's what max points. That's one of the route maps there. It's sweet, isn't it? It is sweet. Let's uh yeah, that shot. And it is Hooda, isn't it? It's not how you say it, so don't judge. Really can sound it sort of coming alive. Five kilometers. Some people wobbling down the stairs there. There they are. And we're off as we leave Book Coltsburg. Yeah, so if you are watching this on the live premiere, uh, at the same time as this, um, we should also be streaming uh, for sort of the Dovetail Games um, event. So, uh, double watch, have it on both monitors. It depends what, I don't know what I'll be doing first on there, but yeah. So, just watch what you want. I'm sure there's other ambassadors as well doing videos, so watch them as well. every single bit of this will be squeezed out into content so you can see every single little bit Really careful with that tap changer. I suppose when you're playing hardless, it wouldn't be too bad, as you can see it on there. But on the M wagon, you can't see that, so <laughs> makes it a slightly bit more harder. So you're going to have to sort of get used to the train. So start in seven, I suppose, then move up to fifteen as we're doing here, and sort of just slowly, slowly make your way up. Certainly, is one to get used to, though. Let's, uh, let's go ahead. It's got a bit of a Hamburg Lübeck feel to it. Well, there's a similar part where it's North Germany. There it goes, look at that. Sounds nice. Let him welcome, though. It has that such just interesting look. Proper sort of bus look. Of it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, good. Right, let's get fully up. What are you going to do about it? 110, hey? I'm 28 now. Sponge has arrived. She's excited as well. She's like, wow, look at this new giant train. Already an old, an old shiny train. A nice view out there. See the volumetric clouds starting to build up. So you've got to take off the tap cha uh, changer before um, doing the brakes, I believe. Otherwise it will get unhappy. So we're going about 80 miles an hour at the moment, I'd say. So we're going to relative, I mean it's fairly quick, I mean it feels quick on this train. I mean some trains will be at this speed and it'll be like, we're going so slow. But in this you can feel the speed. I'm not too worried about the brakes either. I think I'm fairly happy with the brakes on here. I mean, they're not great, but I think I'm fairly confident they will bring me down if I put too much on. So I think this is one of the sort of the bigger stations on on the route. Hood, Hood. I don't know how you say it. Hooda. I think yeah, I think it is one of the larger stations or busier stations. Uh, so I think there's a junction here. Yeah, you can see the junction going off there. So. Some of the services you only 
be able to take as far as, as here. I think most of the 425 services are only as far as here. So then they head up a branch line, which would have been quite cool to see in. It goes up to a place called something Nord, which means like north, so something north something. Um, which I think single track as well. Well, I think that's sort of an extra 20 kilometres or so. Well, I suppose it would have been cool though. I saw a few people mentioning that on um, sort of on just the comments. Oh, that's a little bit short there. That's fine. We're in the, as long as you're in the platform, there's no stop marker here, so it doesn't really matter where you stop as long as you know you're in. Well, that's that's all matters. Yeah, so this I think here goes off to somewhere. Uh, which I can have a sort of yeah, 15, 20 kilometres. 8.5 kilometres to Worcester. We were two there, well, a minute ago. Now we're wondering where on earth we are. Yeah, so you don't have to drive this this train. There is the 425 as well. That's the place, Nordenham. That's the one. Things aren't really getting very far. Come on. Let's put it straight up into 12. What could go wrong? Got 120 on the board there. There we go. Let's get back in. That's quite nice, doesn't it? From sort of out, out the front window. The clouds. And also something very cool to show. I think, I think it's near Oldenburg, actually. There's a bridge which goes up and down. Uh, like that. Um, and it and when it is up like that, a little barge goes through, and you can actually customize the barge. It's the first like non uh, train thing you can customize in the livery designer. So you can make your barge, I know, fully yellow, and then you see it going through full yellow. That's quite cool because the power line sort of chain is really technical, but then it's cool. One of those little extras. Well, we'll see it once we get there. And it might go up. Maybe. I think it's just outside Oldenburg, actually. So you can sort of just spawn in there and run down to it. If you, if you, if you wanted to. Now you go up to 160. I'm a bit nerve wracking in this train going up to 160. I'm rocking about, probably feeling like it's going to break. We'll do it. So, you do get quick parts of this route. There's been a couple of sections at 160, hasn't there? And the most, for the most part, it's in like 140. So, it's not a slow route. So, sort of just your average German, well, well, barn striker. Only one four. Hang on, I swear it was one sixty a second ago. Mm, well, so it's come down now. Let's, let's go ahead. Oh, right. so that is going to quick. This is we probably want to. Actually, what we do? I'll spam Q. Spam Q. Yeah, very quick. Make a fly by shot. I will learn this hubless at some point. But not just yet though. It'll probably take a little bit of time this route to learn hubless. Well not a little bit of time, but it won't be like the first day like on the cross city, that's for sure. Hudless, unbelievable. It's our first run on the line. Damn you, British Ace. See if that. So it must be quite a distance from Worcester to uh, Oldenburg, thanks. I think it was like nine minutes. Oh, uh, seven minutes. Yeah, it's probably about another sort of five, six kilometres from Worcester to uh, Oldenburg. So 
slowly but surely getting there. Too far to Worcester. I will start bringing that down fairly soon. Yes, bars. Right. Let's start bringing that down now. As you can, I think you can see the station coming up, so it's not far. Render distance is fine as usual. And you can see quite far ahead there, so. That's fine. And we are on the PlayStation 5 as well. But I think, I mean, I'm only here to show it off. So if you like what you're watching, um, then yeah, it, it, you'll probably want you'll probably want to get it. But if you don't enjoy what you're watching, you don't really like the look of the rope, don't get it. I'm not the one to say you should get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. It's up to you. It's your money. I mean, if I didn't get it for free, I most likely probably wouldn't get it. Because, well, it it wouldn't really be my, probably... I mean, it, when I, when, well, pre, sort of, when I, when obviously it wasn't an ambassador, I didn't really, I only really got UK stuff. Um, so yeah, I probably wouldn't get it uh, if I hadn't got it as a key. Obviously, big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving it to us. That's purely mostly, but obviously I'm, I'm interested in German stuff now. But then I wasn't really interested as much. Let's get another screenshot. But no, I'd, I'd probably wait until I sell to get it. But then what... Um, uh, Sam said, um, "I see kernel failure. I mean, you know, you don't have to buy it when it's new. Just wait until a sale. Dovetail do quite a lot of sales. I know someone's going to mention Xbox. But that's Microsoft's thing. See, so, yeah, personally, if I hadn't got it, I probably would just wait until a sale to get it. Um, like, like I did do with German stuff. I just waited for it to go on a sale." I remember when Russell Nord made the best album first come out, I got them like straight away. Sort of after that, I just sort of got, got roots on sale. And I think I only got UK roots when they were new. I wouldn't really say there is a rush to get this. I mean, if you really want to play it, go and get it. But there's not really any rush. It, it will be here for forever, so, well, for the foreseeable future. So I suppose just get it in your own time. See if that. Best thing about CIFA when you can't talk before it sounds. Coolest thing to do. There we go. So yeah. As I was saying, it's not my sort of uh, job to be like you need to get it, you should buy it, £30, get it, <laughs> it's up to you, if, you, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, enjoying the train, then it's for you, then you decide if you want to buy it, if you're not enjoying it and you think, oh, what is this, then, uh, well, don't get it, and if you're thinking, oh, it looks good, but maybe not at £30, well, wait until the sale, I'm sure probably Christmas it'll be on sale, probably, um, so yeah, be the best way to put it. And yeah, if I wasn't an ambassador, I didn't get it for forever, it would be in the middle, I'd be like, I'll just wait for it to go on sale. And then get a couple of routes for the price of one. Six and a half kilometres to Oldenburg. But this line is fairly unique because I don't think this line is on Trains in Classic because a lot of lines on TSW are on Trains in Classic. Uh, but I don't think this one is. 
but I wouldn't be surprised if it is in the next couple of months. So it's, uh, so it's unique to TSW. I don't know about other train games, but I can't imagine it'll be on any other one. Seems like quite a sort of insignificant line. Which is nice, it's something different. Something you wouldn't expect to be, well, made. So I like that. Get a little bit of speed on it. Flying. I suppose someone's going to ask me, well, what does it compare to? Probably, yeah, something like Hamburg, Lübeck. Bremen being Hamburg, Oldenburg being Lübeck. Um, yeah, Bad Oldersloe being Huda, how you pronounce it. So that's probably the nearest sort of comparison to another route. And also remember, this is a Joe Burgess timetable. And Joe Burgess never, never disappointed his timetables. He is like the professor of timetables. So there's a lot of services. Oh. I can see the end of the river, unless it's a waterfall. Maybe it's a waterfall. Oh, we're back in. Right, oh, that's scary. Let's uh, wait that on. Acknowledge that and come down to uh, 85. We should have enough time to do so. We'll be alright. It does give, having that bar on does show you how quick you do need to do things on here, though. You don't get, I think it's 23 seconds you get to. And on Hamburg to Lubeck, actually, there's a speed limit where you go from 160 down to 90. And you've got 23 seconds to do so. Obviously, you should really be coming down in advance, but in a train like the 112, you just can't do it. Alright, watch that. Here we go. And we are down. Oh, and we're just coming into Oldenburg. I didn't realise how close it was already. And I think this is probably the Uppy Downy Bridge uh, coming up. It is. Yes, yeah, so if you wait at this bridge for. I think it. No, and there's a certain time it goes up and down. It goes up, I think, at. Not bang on, but near enough 22. 22 the hour. So in about 40 minutes this bridge will go up. Well, I believe it's that one. No, I think it is that one. So if you sit there, you'll be able to see it going up. Which I probably will get in one of the videos we do. If not, it'll be on a stream. It'll be on something. We definitely will have a look. How could we not? As we, uh, I suppose, wrap up our journey here in Oldenburg. As we've uh, come along from Bremen. But yeah. It's a nice route. I wouldn't say it's anything, you know, exciting, exciting. Um, but it's something unique. Obviously, we haven't seen it before on um, on on other train sims, and we do get the new 110 and the M wagon. So, sort of two new, fresh new trains, and two one. I mean, we got the 155 and the 425, which have been redone as well. Um, so you you get quite a bit. I mean, four four trains is it's not bad, considering the one five five used to be at West today's a DLC for Brazil Nord. Um, the timetable that also makes it uh, pretty fantastic. Obviously, being the Joe B timetable, tons of services. You're gonna run out of things to do, um, and well, lots of DLC sort of layers onto it to make it better. So yeah, I think that's probably a, a fairly good summary of the route. And the nearest comparison, yeah, being Hamburg Lubeck. I mean, the station looks similar ish to Lubeck. But yeah, it's really up to you what you think of it. 
and uh, if you've enjoyed watching this it probably is for you if you haven't then it probably isn't for you so yeah it's not for me to say you should get it get it get it get it it's your decision if you think it's worth it get it and here we are this is Oldenburg that was really cool you see a 187 there as well and there's the 101 I think I'm probably going to enjoy the 101, so I do like the 101. The 101's good. There we go. Cool. So, yeah. I wouldn't say it's the, the most sort of exciting. It's not like a Reese's Resident. You know, you've tons of services going up back and forth. S-Bahn, Regional Express, Ice. But no, it's still good fun. You know, it's, uh, well, like a Hamburg Lübeck. And it's a Joe B timetable, which is probably the fourth or fifth time I've said that now. Which also makes it really good. Um, but yeah, uh, do put your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think of the Barnstrecker Bremen to Olden, Olden's, oh, Olden's, but Oldenburg, yes. Uh, I'll quickly see what um, thingies you get. Um, journey mode, yes. I'm, I know some people do like the journey mode, so we'll have a look at that, and then that will then be it. Uh, so, what's it going to be on rail journeys? Bremen Oldenburg. I said, what do you get? Okay, you get uh, Super Bremen Bro. Oh, oh, you get Engage, Entrance, Enhance, Hoodman. Uh, you get quite a lot on there then. So, so yeah, I've got 11 chapters. So, not bad at all, that. Yeah, not bad at all. Let's quickly spawn in at, um, at Oldenburg again. I didn't really take a look at that. Uh, Oldenburg, 10 o'clock, that'll do. Let's spawn in there. And then, uh, yes, and then that will then be it. Could have actually shown the bridge actually, but no, I'll make sure to do that in in a video, in another one, uh, or in a stream. So keep an eye out. And um, be oh whoa, <laughs> let's go down there. But yeah, that is going to be everyone uh, for today's uh, first look at the Bremen to Oldenburg route by Dovetail Games. Obviously, massive thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to show off. Oh, yeah, a fairly unique route, something we haven't seen before on other train simulators. So good stuff. Um, and yeah, links can be found in the usual places to the Discord, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, have a lovely rest of your day, and hopefully, we'll see you next time. See you all, take care. Bye, guys.